Okay, this is take 14 of the planet Jupiter on the evening of February 27, 28th, the year 2016. We've got it about ooh, 20 minutes away from the uh, meridian right now, so it's just about as high in the sky as it's going to get. A week away from opposition, and we're seeing it here at 450 power magnification through a Takahashi Milan 250 telescope, 250 millimeter aperture, and a Sony Alpha 7S camera set to 160th of a second shutter, ISO is 2000. And we've got a Teleview Delos eyepiece that the camera's looking into, 10 millimeter eyepiece. Camera's set to APS-C crop, and that gives us magnification of about 450 power. You've got some nice looking cloud belt structure there on the planetary disk. The equatorial belts show prominently, and there's some significant detail in them. In fact, in the middle of the lower one, there's some darker area there. Some other kind of storm or something going on. Jupiter right now is 4.4 AUs, astronomical units away from Earth, uh, or 400 and some odd million miles away, so it's pretty bloody far away from Earth right now. But it's showing nicely here from, uh, we're shooting it from LA, California, by the way. Nice structure on that disk, and uh, I can't see it right now, but um, I can pull in the moons. There's three moons visible right now. If I jack up the sensitivity on the camera, I can catch those moons, but I'll lose the disc because it'll get all washed out. The camera's dynamic range is nothing like the human eye, so if you want something dim, you gotta make it really sensitive. Moderately bright, less sensitive. And since we got high contrast here between the planet and the moons, I need to uh, play around with the camera settings. So, that's the disc with its cloud belts. And now if we dial up our ISO sensitivity significantly, which I'll do now, to about 20,000. Let go of it, let it steady. You've got uh, the, moon, the center of Jupiter all washed, washed out, but then you've got some moons visible. And those moons are orbiting the planet. The one on the left is the moon Io. It's one of the closest moons to Jupiter. It's kind of a volcanic moon because the gravity of Jupiter pulls on it significantly. That's on the left. And on the right, we've got two. The first one away from the planet, between the larger one and the planet, is Europa, the icy moon of Europa, which it's believed may have some life under its what moon-wide ocean that's buried under a bunch of icy surface. And to the right of that, the larger dot would be the moon Ganymede, which is a rocky surface moon, kind of like the Earth's moon. These guys are 400 and some odd million miles away, so that puts them at roughly 1,600 times the distance from the Earth to uh, compared to the Earth's moon. But they're similar in size, so that tells you that if you put the Earth's moon out there, it would be about the same size as those dots. Cool, huh? So let's dial this guy back down. We can look at the uh, cloud belts one more time. Take it down about 2,000 ISO right there. And there you go. Those beautiful cloud belts on Jupiter. So I'll try to recenter. Equatorial belts, polar, finer cloud belts, and uh, bits and pieces of structure all over the place. So that's Jupiter at 450 power. A week away from opposition, the year 2016, from LA, California, on a 50, mid 50s ish evening, balmy Saturday night in February. Yeah, I like that structure. Check that out. Pretty good looking planet tonight. Okay, we'll call that a wrap because my battery on my camera says it's getting low. Alright, that's it. Jupiter 450 power. Enough already. Come on. Alright, that's it.